See, I see I got a little dog out here now. But anyways, yeah, so the little I have conversation was all about how she ain't got nobody, how she's so lonely, how she's so this, how she's so that, and how, you know, she spoke about moving back in with my mom. My mom kind of like threw it off her head and also how her sisters or sister was going to overcharge her from the people that they already got living in her house. Just get over on her. You know, so yeah. So she just always would brush past and I'm like, all right, she I'm not gonna force her to talk, you know. She'd be like, Sorry if I'm not talkative, that's just me when I'm home. And I'm like, Do you honey? My mind is focused on me, myself and I, my situation I got going on. Like I'm not worried about other people and what they got going on. But since you my sister, I'm really still got that in the back of my head, you know? So as time will go by I noticed she never would speak to me, but the notices would keep coming. So I just said, you know what? No, in her language with me, we get ruder and disrespectful and things like that. And, you know, sometimes when she would be cooking, you know, mind you, I'm in the living room. So, yeah. So next thing you know, we have a conversation. Uh, well, she just starts talking about how, oh, don't tell nobody. I want to go back to school. I'm like, all right, cool. Encouraging her everything. Told me how she did try, but then like. I don't know, something with the financial aid went wrong. It just didn't fall through. And she got really disappointed. So I'm over here encouraging her and telling her it's okay. She was like, no, because I was hoping I'll get that money to help, you know, my rent, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, but I'm here. Like I told you, we need to sit down because I just I just can't give you money and not know where it's going towards or, or how to catch you up on things. So as I'm talking to her, I'm like, you know, what's 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 hindering you from paying that and also how can we get you to get a second job because i'm getting a second job things like that you know like when i get my car you know i'm getting my second job and that's gonna be my way on the way out the door but at the same time i give you more if you need but also trying to put her on to stuff like that and she was like no i can't because i'm behind on my car and i'm like okay well how much is your car she's like that's not even it i'm behind on my insurance and that's not even that and i said okay well let me help you out with that how about on top of that it also because my car ain't even up to date on the registration <laughs> i said so you been having me ride in this car and your registration is like two years old bro i know you lying so it's like the top the things that i was trying to get her to talk about it was like she was telling me this and this, and I'm like, yo, at this point, I'm thinking you behind on your stuff because of that. No, you like it, it's, it's a lot going on. So mind you, pause. She's not supposed to have alcohol. She's not supposed to be on interference because she she's mentally she can't do that. Like that triggers things. But she grown. She gonna do what she wanna do. How about she had bottles and bottles and bottles and bottles? Oh, and I got evidence of that too because I don't play with people because. With the family that I have, they like to do their little dirty things. And when I come in the picture, you know, saying to myself and agreements, whatever like that, it always comes a beat down on Sharita when they don't want to swallow their guilt, their pride, their mistakes, and then I'm the target. So, you know, she's like, oh, you want to drink? I'm like, no, I don't want to drink. But then I'm like, so, you know, what's going on? Trying to calm her down, encourage her, things like that. Then it gets to a point where she just starts saying, you know, when you do certain stuff, like ask me certain questions and get on my nerves. Like, because I don't go around people's homes, no matter who you are, just snooping just to see if something works, don't work or whatever. Like I would rather ask first and do that. That's common courtesy, but in her eyes, it's stupid. Cool, whatever. So she's explaining, but her octave, her tone is high, high, high for no reason. This starts to tell me, I'm like, look, we're going to have to stop this conversation soon because you don't know how to talk like an adult. There's no reason you should be communicating like an immature child, like doing all type of body motion. Because that's not this. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not triggered, but I don't have to subject myself to what you feel like you're mature. Like she's now talking and like she's better, like she's belittling. And I'm like, you must understand, baby, you stink. Okay. So don't do that. Okay. So she just, all of a sudden, you know, I just say, you know what? Because it's like the conversation will calm down, come back up. Calm down, come back up. And I'm like, I told you we should sit down so we can talk about it. 
So at this point, you're choosing to be frustrated because you have a scapegoat. You have a way to catch up. And you ain't even got to pay me back. Like, who just finna be issuing out a few thousands after they check to get to you? And you ain't got to pay back.